Tengiz Field Kazakh Tezimnaj Kenorni Tenaz Munay Kenorni, Tengiz is Turkic for sea, is an oil field located in northwestern Kazakhstan's low-lying wetlands along the northeast shores of the Caspian Sea. It covers a 2,500 square kilometers 970 square miles project license area which also includes a smaller Korolev field as well as several exploratory prospects. Size-wise, Tengiz Reservoir is 19 km 12 miles wide and 21 km 13 miles long discovered in 1979. Tengiz oil field is one of the largest discoveries in recent history. The city of Atirau, 350 km 220 miles north of Tengiz, is the main transport hub of Tengiz oil. Many nations are involved in a large geopolitical competition to secure access to this source of oil. Tengiz is operated by Tengiz Chevroil, a 40-year partnership planning to produce billions of barrels of oil from the field. The Tengiz Chevroil TCO consortium has developed the Tengiz field since its founding in April 1993. The partners in Tengiz Chevroil are Chevron 50%, Exxon Mobil 25%, the Kazakhstan government through Kazakhstan Petroleum 20% and Lukoil 5%. In 2001, the partners opened a 2.7 billion United States dollars, 1505 kilometer, 935 miles Caspian Pipeline Consortium pipeline to export oil from Tengiz to the Black Sea port of Novorossiysk in Russia. The pipeline which was inaugurated in March 2001 and loaded its first tanker in October 2001 carried 600,000 barrels per day 95,000 cubic meters d with planned output of 700,000 barrels per day 110,000 cubic meters d for 2010 and an eventual maximum output of 1.5 million barrels per day 240 times 10 to the 3 cubic meters d. Kashagan, which is located approximately 130 kilometers (81 miles) west of Tengiz and is world's largest discovery in the last 30 years, and Tengiz combined, compete with the 22 billion barrels (3.5 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters) of the U.S. oil reserves. Kazakhstan also considers building new export routes such as Trans-Caspian oil pipeline through Azerbaijan, Georgia, Turkey, or through Iran to reduce dependence on Russia. History Kazakhstan finalized the consortium agreement with Chevron in 1993. In 1997, Lukoil purchased 5% in the Tengiz project from Chevron, and in 2000, Chevron built up its interest in the project to 50% by acquiring additional shares from Kazakhstan. In 2003, Fluor was awarded the rights to develop the second generation plant SGP and sour gas injection SGI project, which were expected to double production. In 2004, the Tengiz Consortium raised $1.1 billion in senior secured bonds to finance these two projects. These two projects were expected to finish in 2006, but were delayed. In October 2006, the Tengiz Chevroil joint venture experienced riots. Shortly after in 2007, President Nursultan Nazarbayev invited Maksat Idanov as first vice president of Kazmanegas and chairman of the partnership council of the Tengiz Chevroil joint venture. During Idanov's tenure, the SGP and SGI expansion projects worth over $6.9 billion were completed in the second part of 2008, and stakeholder engagement began for the Future Growth Project FGP in 2009. In 2012, Tengiz Chevroil began the Future Growth Project FGP, whose aim is to continue to increase the field's production. In 2014, Chevron and its partners, Kazmanegas, ExxonMobil and Lukoil began the process of selecting engineering companies to work on the Engineering, Procurement and Construction EPC contract for the Future Growth Project, which will further expand the TCO oil field. <laughs> Reserves and production Estimated at up to 25 billion barrels, 4.0 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters of oil originally in place, Tengiz is the sixth largest oil field in the world. Recoverable crude oil reserves from Tengiz and Korolev fields combined have been estimated at 6 to 9 billion barrels, 950 times 10 to the power of 6 to 1430 times 10 to the 6 cubic meters. 
Coralif Field alone holds 1.5 billion barrels, 240 times 10 to the 6 cubic meters of oil, making it one sixth the size of Tengiz. Like many other oil fields, the Tengiz also contains large reserves of natural gas. The field is one of the world's largest oil fields, rivaling the Gulf of Mexico in reserves of oil, since the oil from Tengiz contains a high amount of sulfur up to 17%, an estimated 6 million tons of sulfur byproduct were stored in the form of large sulfur blocks as of December 2002. At the time, about 4,000 tons a day was being added. On 3 October 2007, the Kazakh Environment Ministry was reported to be considering imposing fines against TCO for alleged breaches in the way the sulfur is stored. In 2002, TCO produced 285,000 barrels per day, 45,300 cubic meters, d, or one third of Kazakhstan's daily production. In January 2003, after contentious negotiations with the government of Kazakhstan, the TCO consortium members initiated a $3 billion expansion project designed to boost production to approximately 450,000 barrels per day cubic meters d by 2006. In September 2008, Chevron Corporation announced that the major expansion of Tengiz field was completed and it would boost the production capacity to 540,000 barrels per day cubic meters, d. In 2012 Chevron announced the field will see its total daily production increase by 250,000 to 300,000 barrels, bringing production above 500,000 barrels per day. An area of major geopolitical competition involves the routing of oil out of this oil field. Oil from the Tengiz field is primarily routed to the Russian Black Sea port of Novorossiysk through the Caspian Pipeline Consortium CPC project. The Baku-Tbilisi Sihan pipeline is an alternative pipeline developed by US and UK interests originating in the southern Caspian which is the principal export route for crude from Azerbaijan and bypasses dependence on the Russian pipeline. In addition, Total SA is interested in developing a pipeline south through Iran, which is theoretically the cheapest route due to the geopolitical climate involving Iran. However, the United States does not favor this route. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental concerns. The oil from Tengiz field comes out of the wells hot and at a very high pressure, believed to be the highest in the world. It also contains large proportion of gas which is rich in the compound hydrogen sulfide yielding poisonous sulfur. A 1985 explosion in which one man was killed caused a 200-meter high column of fire visible from 140 kilometers 87 miles. The deadly gas made it impossible for Soviet firefighters to quickly extinguish the fire. The well burned for a period of one year and was finally capped. The government of the Kazakhstan imposed stricter guidelines for handling the sulfur. In 2006, Kazakh government threatened Tengiz Chevroil with imposing fines. In 2007, the government imposed a $609 million .4 billion tenge fine on Tengiz Chevroil. The violations included a slow progress in dealing with vast sulfur stocks at Tengiz. The company had reportedly been fined $71 million in 2003 for open-air sulfur storage as well, which was then reduced to $7 million on an appeal. According to the Environmental Protection Ministry, over 10 million tons of sulfur was accumulated near Tengiz oil field as a byproduct of crude oil production. Government had also set a requirement to relocate the village of Surakamiz which had 3,500 residents to new homes in the vicinity of Atirao. The relocation program was funded by Tengiz Chevroil and was done in 2004 to 2006. It cost the company $73 million. In his book Poor People, published in 2007, William T. Volman dedicates a significant amount of his attention to the native peoples living in Surakamiz and Atirao and the effects of Tengiz Chevroil's presence in these towns. Volman's account suggests that serious and widespread health risks were imposed upon the people of Surakamiz. Volman also suggests that in the corporation's efforts to displace the natives, many were not compensated fairly, so that upon being forced to move from their existing homes, they were unable to find or afford comparable housing in a new town. Geology <inaudible> 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 
The sedimentary section of the Pre-Caspian Basin varies between 5 km to 24 km and is dominated by the Permian-Kingurian salt, which is overlain by the later post -salt deposits of Upper Permian, Mesozoic and Cenozoic all deformed by salt tectonics and earlier pre -salt Paleozoic and Upper Proterozoic carbonates and pterogenous sediments. Reflection seismology in 1975 revealed the keratin tectonic uplift, which was 400 square kilometers in area and 1 km in relief, at a depth of 4 km. An exploratory well was drilled in 1979, discovering significant oil flow from the middle Carboniferous carbonates overlain by lower Permian clays and the massive Permian salt. Stratigraphy starts with the upper Devonian Faminian stage consisting of homogeneous biogenic limestone and some thin dolomite interbedding, followed by lower Carboniferous deposits consisting of Tournoisian, Visian, and Namurian stage limestones. Next comes the middle Carboniferous Bashkirian stage limestones, and then the lower Permian Artinxian stage argillaceous sediments. The carbonate buildup is up to 4 km thick and form an angular unconformity to the overlying Permian sediments. In pop culture The Tengiz oil field was mentioned in the film Suriana starring George Clooney. See also Kashagan Field Kazakhstan-China Oil Pipeline Oil and Gas Basins of Kazakhstan Trans-Caspian Oil Pipeline <laughs>